Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and hey, I'm on video now. We are on the Citadel, we're in Minecraft, and this is the new Sony camera that I unboxed on Twitch a few days ago. I've got it hooked up to the stream computer just to kind of give it a test. We are going to be using it mostly for the Spawn Chunks podcast, which is actually going to be on the iMac behind me, but I thought I would give it a go this weekend. Might as well do a couple of test runs before I go live on Monday uh, with the Spawn Chunks podcast. Uh, super fast, Blast Jordan, Sweet Sandy, good to see y'all. Hope everyone's having a good Saturday so far. I am full of pancakes and ready for video games. I'm not sure about you all, but uh, we have a problem on the server already. I, uh, I left the moss farm running and then I logged out. And that means that we are going to have to fix the moss farm and its function, not just decorate it today. So uh, yeah, we have to first need to find a bed, which I think is up front. I'm definitely very much thinking like uh, satisfactory. <laughs> in my brain, so I'm going to be pressing all the wrong hotkeys because I've been playing Satisfactory all week. But as you can see, once we sleep, there is cobblestone in the moss farm. It's one of those farms that you just can't leave running and have the server reset or do anything like that. So yeah, we've created some cobblestone where there should not be. So I think yeah, I need trapdoors. Looks like we only lost one on this side, but we lost a bunch on this side. So I'm going to need some trapdoors and I'm going to need to turn this off. Cobblestone? Yeah, it's a, it turns into a cobblestone generator. Plus, we've got things building up there. There's all kinds of stuff that's wrong. I honestly don't need shaders on either. I have so many things I want to fix about this place. My technical brain going crazy and satisfactory is now uh, being applied to Minecraft, and I really need to fix a lot of stuff. So, trapdoors. I have the trapdoors. I need to lighten the inventory a little bit here. We were doing a lot of redstone the other day, so I still have a lot of that stuff in here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Have trapdoors, there to go. Uh, that should be good. Somewhere there's an anisite box. There it is. Don't really care about the dirt. I can just let that despawn. Probably going to need at least a couple buckets. Anybody else have that delay on the uh, ender chest? That's new to me. All right, we'll see what's up. Do I have a lava bucket? I think I do. Yeah, I'll bring those two just in case I need them. Oh, hey guys, says Sheep Scalibur, and hey, Face Cam Joel. Yeah, that's me, Face Cam Joel. Uh, we're going to be using the Face Cam mostly for, um, for the spawn chunks, but I might be able to use my other camera to, um, to go over here. I've got, I, I only have the one new mount, so I have to figure out a separate mounting system, but I think I can use the existing multi mount and and attach a couple things just elgato doesn't make it easy they they give you like one short straight arm or one long multi arm but i don't necessarily think it has a clasp i don't know i got to look at i got to look at the original what comes with the multi arm for elgato cuz i could use another one of those and be okay so that would be less of a purchase which would be good okay so this side 
is working correctly. Right. So we need waterlogged trapdoors. We have to bust that. And then... Right. And then this is where the tricky part comes in because we have to... Yeah, I think we've got to remove the glass, remove the lava, remove the um, shroom light, and replace the thing. I think. Hold on. So I do that. I don't know if that'll fix itself. Oh, I've got another one over here, too. I guess I should have brought some stone with me. That would have been smart. Okay, let's go get some stone. Or I guess I could just cut some stone out of here. I'm just thinking we have to replace this. I thought this is supposed to be smooth stone generator. happening down here yeah this is all supposed to be stone there's lava above that I don't know whether those things have to be filled in before it actually goes or what. Let's go get some stone. Yeah, I I vaguely know how the farm works. So essentially the the there's a if there's a clock that pushes out uh stone. So you make like a smooth stone generator, which is I can remember off the top of my head, I think it's Lava flowing down into a water source mix. But then I don't know what happens. I don't know why it creates. Um, I don't know why it creates. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, cobblestone. So there's some sort of like hairline difference from one to the other. Got a funny feeling we're going to need orange glass at some point. Super fast, thanks for the lurk, appreciate it. Do 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 
So what happens is um, there's an observer here that triggers um, this and it will spread bone meal onto this moss block. And this moss block is in range of the stone and it turns some of the stone to moss. And then the pistons push this stone bed and it squishes that and it pops off. And then the water opens up and flushes it all away. But I don't know, like, at what point it's supposed to, um, I, I don't know how it breaks. I think that's the problem, is that I don't know how it breaks, so I don't know how to fix, I don't know how to prevent it from breaking in the future. I just know that you're not really supposed to log off when it's running, which is what I did last time. And that's my fault. I was streaming, and I just, I had to go, and... So this is missing a trapdoor, I think. Yeah. And it looks like it's missing a water source. That's the other thing. Right, so that has to have a water source on it. That's why I wanted to bring the buckets. Uh, that's two. I guess you're asleep. When I get it running, um, or fixed, I guess, I'll turn it on and I'll see if I can explain how it works. It's an ill mango design, but I reduced the output, if you can believe it, um, to be <laughs> enough for our little server, uh, because it was just, it was, it was crazy how much. Right, so then you can see the water through them. I don't know if I've always known that. Maybe that's new in Tricky Trials. But essentially, uh, every once in a while on a clock, that torch turns off and flushes the whole top here. And I'm pretty sure the cobblestone does not get turned into moss. So that ends up, ends up being a problem. So we have to kind of make sure there's no cobblestone hanging around. Right, so that's flowing water sideways. So what happens, I think, is that the trapdoors get moved and the water sources get removed as well. Right. Uh, and then down here.
Those ones weren't broken, so it's probably okay. So then it becomes tricky because you have to replace the lava behind the water source. So here what we'll do is climb up here and I have the glass here on purpose so that we don't end up losing material as we fix it. That was a, a, something I installed later on. Maybe I could get in there and swim somehow. Tricky, but doable. I just can't place the trapdoor. Mixture gun, Joel cam, yeah. Yeah, I thought I'd give it a test before we do the live stream on Monday's Spawn Chunks podcast. Wanted to give it a go. So, I mean, it looks pretty good. I only have the one, one light in here plus the background light. So the aperture settings and all that kind of stuff are, are pretty good. Um, it's the Sony ZV-E10, if you missed the unboxing video. And... Uh, I'm using a Camlink 4K, which was already on this machine. I have another one for the Mac. And what was the other thing that I've got with it? It's an Elgato mounting arm. And I feel like that's going to be really sturdy. Uh, I'm just debating now. I don't know if I want to move this camera back and forth between the Mac and the PC. But uh, I would be probably more uh, inclined to use the Sony a6100 for this shot for streaming. And then use this better camera for podcasting i just i really i'm well behind on being on camera on stream it's something i should have done a long time ago uh i think the spawn trunks is what pushed me yeah i can't place them here that sucks um the um spawn trunks is what pushed me to to get in there and start doing more more video um i need more blocks Um, thanks, Dan. Yeah, some of the little overlays that I got, um, they're the same. They're from Nerd or Die, and they're the same. They came with the whole kit for, like, the, the transitions that I use. So I did not see the unboxing, but I saw what was happening. Um, cool that you got it all set up. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, it all came. The final piece came yesterday was the power supply, the little plug to keep it on all the time rather than using the battery. Yeah, the Nerd or Die um, stuff is pretty good. And I've got a different one. I didn't have it set up for this, but I'm on the fence because I've got kind of an orange magenta transition on Satisfactory. And I've got a um, kind of a bluish purple transition here. I think it might even be green and purple. But I went with blue and purple just because it looked better next to the Twitch icons across the top of the screen. So that's what I didn't want to happen. See, that's what, yeah. So I think what I need to do is I need to grab these lava sources. I'm trying to do this the easy way and it would just be faster if I just did it this way. Yep, 
Yeah, so the lava ends up turning the water source into cobblestone. I don't remember which one has the lava source. It is that one. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This one is one I broke. Place the redstone. Got one crap. Okay, so that should fix it, but like that's a that's a pain. I guess we now have to go test it and turn it on. Mind Trip Media with 100 bits. Thanks ever so much. Appreciate it. Also, Trevor No Live. Thanks for the follow. Are my alerts working? By the way, did that come up on stream? I I, um, I think I heard it, but I didn't didn't catch it visually. Um, what went sideways? I logged out with the Moss Farm running. That was the issue. It looks like it's not working. At least one trapdoor that's not functioning. Left side, I think I forgot one water, water source. Need to double check alerts. Uh, oh, are they not working? Let me just do a test. Imaginary Kevin seems to work. Uh, do bits. Yep, they're not lined up. I, I really, I'm really on the fence about whether I should stick with Streamlabs alerts. Uh, they were such a pain to set up and they don't work the way that they're supposed to. So I kind of just gave up on like being good enough. But now that I've got the camera, it's kind of a good excuse to revisit everything. Right. So I'm not going to step in there with all that because that seems like crazy town. So that's what happens is somehow that got out of sync and the trapdoor got pushed into the other block space. I might be able to just turn this off. Oh no, there's a separate rest online. Okay. So this side is working correctly. So what's happening is there is a piston feed tape thing happening down here. I don't know if you can see it. I think I got it covered up. Yeah, there it is there. Funny how those flip. <laughs> That's not working either, which is strange. 
Don't know why that is. I wonder if there's redstone missing back here. Should just use my little camera to see. Hmm. It could be... Could be that the bone meal wasn't working. This isn't getting any bone meal. Probably because this one needs to fill up first. We're slowly getting there. This side must have been full up already. But see, because of that, the water doesn't flush, and so a lot of stuff gets cut up. We've got another two things here that are busted. I'm not sure what's going on here. Huh. Hey, Turing, how's it going? I did get your DM, by the way. It's just been a very busy couple of days. In a good way. All fun stuff. Just, just a lot. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I have the blocks. I need to turn this thing off. So out of curiosity for people that are are um, here and, and have thoughts about the face cam, uh, size, position, everything look like it's going okay? Shoot. I know it's covering up my mini map, but I don't mind that. Not sure what changed here. So normally what happens is um, this water stream here splits some of the farm and sends some of the moss and stuff up here. So it gets split and then um, ultimately, oh, is there a water source missing up there too? What's going on up there? Ultimately it feeds the farm. That's strange. I've never seen that happen before. Normally it chooses a side. Huh. So like if I sat here and shot a bunch of stuff with this into the farm. Right. Yeah, it's getting caught. That's weird. I'm not sure what would cause that. Whoops. So 
So typically what happens, stuff that gets shot off this way goes up on the left side, and then stuff from that side gets shot up on the right side and then fills this in. But I don't know why this is breaking. We've got water sources in all of these. That should be right. Oh, look, it's Joel in the flesh. I just made that weird. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I would settle for Joel, the redstone master. That would be nice. Be nice if I could get this farm to actually work so I can go back to decorating it. I don't think the timing's been moved. We're still not getting any uh, movement down here. Well, a little bit. I guess it just depends on whether this fills up with stuff, right? Yeah, see that? That'll get things moving. Now they're all moving. So at least I know it's not a piston problem. It's a bone meal problem up here. It's probably just a matter of the uh, timing and this all now looks like it's working but same thing it looks like maybe the bone meal down here is low yeah so I think once that gets more bone meal in it I think that's now fixed. I'm not seeing any th stuff getting stuck up there either. But you can sort of see how like these ones skip over to that side, right? And then they'll go up. So it's left and right. Cool. All right. So turn it back off again. That didn't take a long time. Just remind me at the end of the stream to not um, log off and say goodbye to everybody if that farm is running. That worked. Isochronics has followed. Thanks very much. Appreciate the follow. I said it's hard to set up the shot too um, when you're not in it. What's really funny, you can see my podcasting mic behind me. I put that like kind of roughly where my head is in the shot, and then you like kind of use it as like a dummy to kind of like focus the camera and stuff. I mean, I'm using autofocus, but like to just kind of get everything in a clearer shot. And I, um, I think when I sat down in front of the computer, like maybe I've shifted. I don't feel like I'm in the center of the frame anymore. I feel like I'm a little bit crowded on the left hand side. Uh, right. Okay. So now we can go back to what we really want to do. Uh, did I ever check on the chests? Yes, and I wrote it. There's a um, there's a screenshot in the Minecraft channel on Discord from last weekend. Uh, I had forgot about it, but I had also left Minecraft open, so it was like three hours 
or something or four hours of stuff but it's not a lot we get a lot it's very heavy on the red dye and the poppies for some reason okay so i don't need all this stuff glass uh green glass i might need that we will need. I don't need any of this moss stuff. Uh, don't need the tracks. I don't think I need the mine carts. Room lights, I don't think I need either. I should just turf these seeds. Oh, I took down a ladder. Whoops. Uh. If I just put them in here, it should just go away, right? Should be no filter, they should just disappear. Maybe that was too fast, I don't know. I'm assuming they went around super quick. DJ Crazy Gaming. Hello. How's it going? Welcome in. Okay. I think that's all I'll need. Oh, lots of dark oak. And probably some moss. Trying to think about what else we might need for decoration. Take a look. Oh, I need to go take those moss blocks down too. Just a temporary staircase. It's so frustrating how like sometimes the, the best way for a farm to look often leaves you unable to access it easily, you know? Right, so I was, I think I was working up here we're looking at this stuff right so we've got this little thing here and we've got this section here I was using the dark oak with the bark on it for the frames and then using the dark oak without the bark for like the log flume water transport stuff So, what I should do is add some sort of frame here. So this is water, right? Yeah, that's a water thing. So this should be like a, some sort of support.
And then this has got water, so I should put... I think I used log underneath it. Yeah. Right, okay. Such a strange biome color. It doesn't match the moss at all. Now, unfortunately, there's redstone everywhere. So I gotta be really careful here. Uh, maybe I should not have put those buckets back. Uh, you're a bit off center frame to the left, but not enough to feel unusual. Thanks, Grandpa Crafter. Yeah, so that's what I thought too. I think it's just because when I sat down and I pulled myself in to actually play, I shifted it a bit, which would make sense. Crap. Keep on forgetting I've got the uh, the beacon on. Just next door. Giving us that extra oomph when we mine stuff. Right, so that takes care of that. That goes into hoppers. Goes around like that. So then all we have to do is just replace the water again. Cool. And then under here, we can come up with little tricks to like cover up that. That may or may not look good. I think maybe I'll add another trapdoor. And what I'm thinking here to complete the look is have more glass. The question is, do I want the glass even? I probably do. That technically should be like a log with bark on it. Hmm. That would actually break up the texture a little bit. I need to get a much better second monitor. I feel like I'm, I don't have the best, best second screen. I need something a little bit bigger. I've been thinking about seeing if I can do like a dual stream to YouTube and to Twitch at the same time because my Joel Duggan VODs channel is monetized. So that could be something I could listen, like look into to get more eyeballs on the stream. Um, the other thing that I was thinking of is the camera position. So right now, uh, it's right between my monitors. So if I'm looking at the my, my, my main monitor playing that I'm here, but if I'm looking at chat, chat is like right there. And so I don't know whether I should move the camera just like a little bit to the left because it would be more in line with chat. Uh, it won't reach right now. That's just, that's not a thing that I can do at the moment. Uh, if I had a slightly longer arm, or if I attached an arm to the other, to the other um, mount, so I could, 
I might be able to do this without having to buy an entirely new mount. I could just use the one mount for Lego and the table. Um, I'll set, I'll send a, I'll put a picture in Discord afterwards. Uh, looks like Nightbot is working again today too, which is nice. What did I come in here looking for? Bark blocks. Ooh, I do not have much for dark oak, do I? Feels weird having the bed out in the middle of nowhere too. I think Cosmic said I could fish around for some dark oak. Let's see if they have any, if I need it. So I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants when it comes to this design. Right, so that's going to be actual water. I wouldn't mind actually seeing this, you know? Maybe we can expose the water. I kind of like that idea. Maybe we can have some um, glow berries or something hang down from there. That could be cool. We need to make sure none of these items are getting into the water stream either. So here I think I might replace the glass with log. That could look cool. Oh, I guess I should have replaced that as well. Yeah, I like seeing the redstone work too. I think exposing it like that is pretty fun. I just don't know about what to do underneath there. Like maybe that looks better as a moss block. Yeah. Oops. 
we'll figure out the landscaping later. It's more about focusing on on doing this right now. Uh, let's grab some stuff up there. Now I'll have to get up on top. So I don't know what to do about that other side there. It looks a little bit strange. This has walls on it, but it's got like a stone bit underneath, I guess. So I guess I could just remove that. Yeah. Maybe have this just rest on that sort of thing. This could use support, though. Like that. And then we'll use maybe this as the support for that part. I'm just trying to make it a little bit nicer without really redoing anything, if that makes any sense. So then I guess here we'd have to do the same thing. Yeah, that's a, a bit better. Right, and then I think I wanted this to be lower. Yeah, I think I take the top two blocks off of this. Stream time is at one hour. Thanks very much. Appreciate that, Sandy. I think we turn the whole thing into like a green roof. I think that could be kind of fun. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, we'll have to check to make sure I'm not putting non-compostable blocks into the into the system. Anyway, I take a break about once an hour, folks. It gives me a chance to grab a glass of water, maybe even make some coffee. You should grab a friend. We are trying to grow the stream as per usual. And uh, if you wouldn't mind sharing it around, I would really appreciate it. So give me five or six minutes. I'll be right back.
Sorry, folks, I had the uh, the Nightbot command in chat was giving an error, but uh, there should be a notice now that says that you can use bits uh, and get bonus bits. Uh, if you use 300 bits or more, Twitch will add 10%. Uh, it's the 12th through, I believe, the 16th are the dates for that. Uh, Sandy, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, so we are in the midst of September, and subs are 25% off as well. Uh, I really appreciate all the support so far this week. We've had some great turnouts on the Satisfactory streams. Uh, I'm going to be playing Satisfactory later. Uh, we we'll get another hour of Minecraft, and I'm going to switch over. So you'll be able to jump in and enjoy that as well. Uh, yeah, I think a green roof would look a lot better. Um, I don't know about this stone on the inside. I feel like... Is that underwater? No, the water's there. So this is just a regular... Scotsman UK raiding with a party of 20. That's another raid from Scotsman this week. Thanks so much, Scotsman. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I feel like some of this can just be removed. Welcome in, folks. We've got True Purple, Math Girl UK, sorry, Math Girl JK, Elkhorn 95, K the River Cat, all coming in with that raid from Scotsman UK. Scotsman, what were you up to on stream today? Anything cool? Working on the Ravagers project still in Minecraft? Oh, it's Elkhorn. Elkhorn's raiding. Well, thanks very much, Elkhorn. <laughs> Elkhorn was maybe on... What was Elkhorn doing? Uh, playing Minecraft. Were you, which server were you on today, Elkhorn? Sorry about that. I just saw the Scotsman UK come up quite quickly with the... Um, with the raid text. Uh, Elkhorn was playing on Dragonfell, playing Minecraft. Very cool. Very, very cool. Folks, if you want to check out Elkhorn95, you can do that in chat. There should be a link somewhere to follow them. Uh, they are a member of my community, one of my mods. They're also part of the Infinity Cove community, as well as the Dragonfell SMP. Cozy Mel, welcome in. Chances are, if you've been watching Elkhorn stream, then you know who I am. But if you don't, my name is Joel Duggan, and I stream and podcast full-time. And you can check out things like the Spawn Trunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcast on your favorite podcast app. They are free. Uh, hey, Joel, says Elkhorn. Cam is looking good over on Dragonfell getting uh, flower farms up and running for my shop over there. Very cool. Very, very cool. I made a little adjustment on the break. I just kind of turned the camera a little bit and hopefully I'm now a little bit more center in the frame. It's hard because I had to crop my camera to be like a four by three from a 16 by nine. So it's kind of hard to figure out where you're sitting sometimes. Sweet Sandy says looks better. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I know the, the mic is still in shot, but I think that's kind of true of most streamers. The question is, do we need, I guess we need some stone here, right? Oh, I see. That was from the outside. And that was probably to spawn proof it. That maybe get rid of the lighting updates. So how does this look from down here? I feel like this needs to come back a bit. Oh, 
And maybe we'll cut this in with some moss as well. And we'll probably get into decorating that a little bit better as well. Get in some different landscaping tools. I want to get the shape down first. That looks a little bit more interesting. And of course, we've got the backup zombie in there. We'll leave that for now. Sort of changes it up a little bit again we can work that a little bit more later so really i think the thing now is just that section there and this section here seem to be the the big offenders and that i think is something we can just um i think this is yeah it's two layers so we'll want to hide some of this stuff that is the leaf stone for turning the farm into a bone meal farm. And it would be kind of cool to see that, this window. So I'm thinking maybe we add a frame around that. And guess this would be probably more of a log frame. Now, do I need to go up? This is the elevator. This is the drop shaft. I don't know that I need necessarily always go up there. I don't know if I need the ladder. I guess it doesn't hurt for now. Yeah, that sort of looks official. I'm not crazy about the green color, so maybe we'll wax, wax the light. Because there's a lot of honey blocks and stuff that's been exposed. Uh, where do I keep all that stuff? So that's in here. You don't like it when streamers hide half their face with the mic. Yeah, no, I, I don't either. Um, not that I have anything against that. I just, I wouldn't want to do that myself. 
I also have a mic that doesn't require it to be like right up in my face. The um, the Yeti X is actually pretty good. That's about six inches from me. And it doesn't have to be that close. I find sometimes I can make it peak a little bit if it's closer. So it's nice to um, to not have to worry about that. That'll be a cooler look. I don't know about the top of it. I don't know about this cliff. Um... This feels really flat. And we can go in here with some stairs and slabs and stuff as well and make it look nicer. I'm just kind of getting the basics down. Uh, Elkhorn, storage is all set up in auto crafting correctly. Yes. I mean, the ratios are a little bit strange. Um, we have more poppies and red dye coming in. And more red dye than poppies, which is strange. But then we have some white dye. White dye is really, really low. And I don't know why. But you can see, like, if I grab a stack of roses and I go down and I trigger the mechanism. So basically, there needs to be 23 in that cart and then it takes off and then you'll see poppies and red dye and then potentially pink dye and white dye it all depends on whether the, these composters are close to full so i think that's the thing these ones depend on the composters and these ones just automatically spit out one of each so i think that's why we're getting so much more um the way to do this would probably be to like somehow end up putting double the amount of poppies into here but that would require changing the track a bit so it's almost like you'd want to have the cart go this way and then come back this way and go over these two but then not go over those two i'm not sure how to do that not the end of the world by any means Yeah, I don't know about this. I think this has to go. Well, maybe that has to stay. This is where I'm not sure about this section either. I mean, it feels pretty good. Maybe we just cascade it down. Oh, this is the way up. That's my up elevator. That's what that is. Oh, is that going to stay where it is? Probably. Yeah, I can't see that. I don't want to change that. So uh, let's put something more functional looking here. Uh, 
And what would we put on the other side of that? We could just put a, a lamp there. And then have, I guess, glass in front of both. That doesn't really make a lot of sense, though. They need that to be open. Avex Viper, welcome in. Hello. Doing well, thank you. Good Saturday. Nice chill day. Pancake breakfast to start. Some Minecraft. And kicking off the stream with the new face cam. Uh, yep. Yep, it's a seven-year-old SMP. In what world have you ever walked into a Twitch stream and said, hey, can I join your SMP? And the person said yes. I appreciate that you want to play with other people, but I don't think that's the way to go about it. A lot of streams? Sure. Don't know what that looks like inside. Well, that looks okay. There's still some dirt up there I might want to change out. I don't know what to do about this. Try to make it look good, I guess. Um, maybe I'll use spruce. I guess I could have just used a single slab. Kind of makes it look like a bench. That should still work, right? I don't think that's going to change anything. I didn't realize that we could see right into the to the bone meal area. Uh, Danube Gaming, awesome new face cam. Spawn Chunks listener over here. That's awesome. Thanks very much. Appreciate the kind words and thank you for listening. That's awesome.
I think that's starting to look a lot better. I think we just do a, a solid moss pass on that top part. I think that'll get us a good portion of the way there. amount of moss. I've probably put a lot more stuff in the water stream too. Yeah, I think that'll help. Might actually grab some mossy cobble. Some tough. What do I not need in here? I don't need the grass blocks. Don't think I need two stacks of glass. I'll keep one bucket at least, maybe two. Cobblestone tough somewhere. There it is. Height is more fitting with the lower mountain. If only there was a farm that you get more mossy. Yeah, right. If only we had that nearby or a chest that's just overflowing with it here. We can probably shape it a little bit better through here, too. So maybe we can grab this one. Make it look a little bit more organic. I don't think I like the grass up here. I think I'd rather use bushes.
So it looks a little bit funny, so we might be able to do this a little bit better. And instead of using a trapdoor there, we could probably just use the moss block. So here, this trapdoor is just keeping the items from flying up. But we could use the trapdoor, or not the trapdoor, we could use the moss there. Maybe we can try to make it look like... I feel like this could be replaced with bushes and have it look like a, a bush hanging over the edge. Elkor95, thanks for the lurk. appreciate it. Thanks again for the raid. I know that obviously uh, coming in from a stream very often, I need uh, a computer break. I'm sure you do as well. That stays there. And then maybe come back down here. So then this gets open. Do we want this to have a roof? Don't know. Hmm. I think we can probably leave this exposed. I don't think that needs to have a roof on it. We just then have to figure out how to support this. I think I need to take this chunk out in the middle. I like the idea of it supporting itself with a cliff, but maybe we don't even need this area here. I guess we need to figure out how this is going to connect, though. I also haven't put any glass in yet. Hmm. I feel like this should probably also be um, bark blocks. Of course, I don't have enough. That's annoying. I'm sure I will spot that later and want to change it. Yeah, I feel like we have to sort of use the cave to kind of support itself a little bit. a little symmetrical.
No idea what that's going to look like from the outside, but we'll see. Right. Forget about that. Now up there, I could probably just add some slabs. If I ever need you to walk up this way. Attach it there, probably. And then maybe we put the ladder back here. CJ, hello, hello, welcome in. Yeah, that feels a little strange. Certainly more exposed. Just don't, don't quite know how to meld the two together, really. This is a strange bit here, too. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look and see where we can put some glass. So I feel like one thing we could do is maybe extend the glass there. I feel like it would give a good layer, but then we can't cover the trap door. That's covering up um, ice. So really the glass maybe has to go up here on this level. But the same problem covering up the ice, which I guess I could add well, I could take that that log support right up to the top. Obviously, I don't have any of the right kind. So I could do that. And I think I prefer the idea of exposing the water here too. Yeah, things are well here, CJ. A little Minecraft, a little satisfactory this afternoon. Um, I think I'm going to take a run down to Somerville to see if Cosmic has any dark oak that I can snag. Just because I know I'm going to want the bark blocks. It is the weekend after all, you're right, Sandy. 
I only work half weekends now, which is nice. It took a while to get used to it, actually. After spending so many years streaming Saturday and Sunday. Um, it made for like a long Saturday, Sunday, Monday, because I would be streaming long chunks on Saturday and Sunday, and then I would be doing the spawn chunks on Monday. And I really did not feel like I got much of a day off. And Tuesday was like, nothing was live, but I was still doing like admin and email and then you kind of like still work your nine to five because it's a lot of what my friends do and you know you want to try to be available at the same time other people so wood there's the dark oak borrow a little bit I think two stacks should be okay guess I didn't need the shulker box after all thanks cosmic <laughs> I I said borrow I uh, I've been given permission I got a DM that said hey if you ever need anything Come grab it for the sake of stream speed and not having to go and harvest stuff in the modern city. I really do like spending time on such an old server. You know, just everywhere you go, it doesn't matter whose build you go to. It's, it's definitely something where you go, wow, there's been a lot of time spent here, you know? Oh, I know, Sandy. I'm just covering my butt for... Later teasing as well. CJ says I took yesterday off to go to a baseball game. So today really a work day for me, especially with um, one final back packing permit next weekend. Wow. Getting stuff done. Be curious to see what happens as the as the light outside changes. Whether or not I need to um, need to adjust the light on the camera. So that to me feels a little repetitive. Maybe we take those all up to the very top. That could be a good way to do it. I don't mind it. I feel like I'm going to do that, then I need to adjust this one here on the end. Ah, uh, there it is. Hunter, hello, hello. What's going? I think the problem is I haven't really established a, like a set of design rules. Kind of just winging it.
It sort of looks like a weird building now. I don't know. Less redstone-y, more, more oddity. And then it doesn't match up with this. I almost want to um, seal this up. But also expose the water there. And then maybe we'll get rid of this one. No. I don't want to do this. So I thought I could put some green glass in here, but then we've got all of this stuff in the way. Maybe that has to be there, but it has to be outside. Like another layer. J. Chris says, I tend to like more mature worlds because you have more resources that tend to be present in a world along with the more impressive builds. Oh, totally, yeah. Yeah, I feel like there's less of a barrier. You can still play sa uh, survival Minecraft, but you have less of a less of a, a barrier to your creativity. So you don't have to be in creative mode, but you have access to all the things that you need, you know? I find sometimes, too, it's nice to have that little walkabout break. You know, you need to go get something. Just kind of give yourself a, a bit of a breather. Oops. Yeah, it still feels kind of strange. Not really sure. We're getting there, though. I do tend to think about these things in the round and it tends to shoot me in the foot because no one is ever going to see it from this side, but I kind of want to make it look good from that side. It's just, it's a weird perfectionist must check all the boxes thing. Uh, I'm not digging the vertical lines. I think that's probably the thing that I don't like. I like the box and the glass. And I wanted to do the same thing here. What if I added another layer? What if this went to like here? And then I had glass here. kind of like that and then I could switch this back to tripped how does that look from down below I think I like that better
Time to stop procrastinating, says CJ. Well, thanks very much for stopping by. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Uh, yes, there's definitely some bone meal crap in the hoppers. I agree, Sandy. I agree. It's really only ever going to happen during construction. So if I like that, then let's do this across to here. Oh, that lines up with the, the door though. Could go past it. That would seal in the uh, drop shaft, which is good. Yeah, and then I can come back in here and change this out. I think that starts to feel like it matches up a bit. This is still weird, the moss bit on the front. I feel like the drop shaft could use an update as well. Maybe we can go in here. It's the wrong one. Just have a transition at the bottom. Probably feels a little bit more seamless. Thanks for the lurk, McScrew Gun. Appreciate it. Yeah, that looks better. Right, I forgot what that was for. I'm not sure what we could put up here. Maybe just like a little flavor. Feels like moss growing everywhere. And then that feels funny too.
Yeah, this being open is strange. I guess we could do the same thing. That has to be open for that. So really it's like this level that I need to just flip around. Hmm. We'll get there. I think I'm just kind of brain stuck at the moment. This honestly feels like it just needs to go all the way down. Certainly feels like it's more part of the, the landscape. And I haven't been doing it, but I did bring out some of this mossy stuff on purpose. Try to help transition here. So we'll be able to do stuff like that, I think, in a lot of places. Plus we can get into slabs and stairs and a bunch of different stuff. I can see it looking pretty good in the end. It's just, it's a matter of the shapes. I like what's happening in the front. We need to fix this a bit. And I, I really don't like this. It looks like a building, like it looks like a downtown business building, you know, office tower. I'm not a fan of. Just for real, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Yeah, okay. Uh, that is where we're going to wrap up Minecraft for the day. I'm going to switch over to Satisfactory, though. So uh, if you're enjoying this, please stick around. Uh, Satisfactory is a, is a fun, very similar building game. 1.0 just launched this week, so we're going to be working on some new stuff. I played for 90 minutes this morning, and it didn't crash at all, so I'm going to try the Devastator save. If we start to have crashes, we will simply load up our new save that we started yesterday, uh, just a first playthrough in the grassy fields. Uh, but if you have been hanging out with me for the week, then you know that this is a new camera and that we'll be using it mostly on uh, the Spawn Chunks podcast, which happens on Mondays. So if you are part of the Discord, you can watch live. If not, you can check it out at Spawn Chunks on YouTube. It's the Spawn Chunks, actually, on YouTube. You can also listen to the Citadel Cafe podcast, my other podcast about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. Follow me on social media, Joel Duggan on Twitch, very easy to find. Joel Duggan on Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. And uh, check out Patreon if you'd like to support the stream. It's only $2 a month. It's the uh, same price as a cup of coffee, and it helps me stay streaming. So if you like the content, then spread the word. It's free to tell friends. And I will see you uh, either next time here on Minecraft or in just a few minutes for Satisfactory. Bye for now.